Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you some of my past witch and wizard gnomes for your inspiration. So if you want to make these little guys and gals, stick around. I show you how. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Today we are going to make this super cute, adorable little witch gnome on a broomstick. If you want to how to make her, stick around. I show you how. Okay, for this one, you're going to use some craft foam. You're going to go ahead and cut out the pattern and go ahead and overlap till you don't see that little corner anymore. And go ahead and glue that spot down. And then we're going to go ahead and curve up all the way up to the top and glue the top. Now, I'm giving you the link for the, all the supplies in the description below as well as the pattern. Okay, go ahead and get that all the way glued all the way till the tip. And then glue the tip as well. And then I'm putting a little styrofoam cone inside of this. And I got those at Hobby Lobby, the little, the little Christmas tree cones. And if you can't find one of those, you can just cut a bigger cone short. Just going to go ahead and glue the back. And then we're going to take our circle and put it right over the top. Then we're just going to pull it back just a little bit, just so we can put a bead of glue all the way around the edge. And then we're going to pull the hat back down over the top of it. But don't worry so much if you get glue on there where you can see it, because we're going to spray paint it with matte black paint. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut the hair. We're going to cut five one inch by one and three quarter inch strips. Just go ahead and measure there and there and then do a line so that you're straight. And then we're just going to cut those kind of in a U shape like we do our beard all the way around, cutting the backing only. This will make her hair lay really nice on, onto the gnome. Then go ahead and clean all the excess fur off. Okay, next we're just going to start attaching it. We're just going to start on the side, kind of closer to the, the um, front side, and then we're going to go all the way around. And if you if you're not if you're concerned about getting it straight, you could start in the back in the center with the with one of them, and then just kind of come around to the sides. And then go ahead and get them glued all the way down. Once you get those glued in, you're going to go ahead and go back in and glue all the way down on the bottom. Okay, next we're just going to cut a one and three quarter by a half inch strip and that's going to be for her bangs. And then again, just cut behind the faux fur only and then clean the excess fur off. And then we're just going to kind of move the bangs to the side, kind of give her a side bang and then just glue that on the front. Then I'm just using a little 10 millimeter half bead for her nose and I'm just going to glue it right up there where that split is. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the um, arms and the shoes. We're going to cut four three-inch strips of wire. And we're using uh, Sculpey black clay, just rolling it up into a ball, about probably about a half-inch ball. Just smash it down and just going to pull the front to a tip. kind of giving her pointy shoes. Then go ahead and stick your wire in there and kind of wallow that open a little bit because we're going to put some glue in there and we're going to use the um, oven baked glue from Sculpey. Just put some glue in there and then we'll put our stick back in there and then we're going to do a little um, bead of like a snake size bead to wrap around the top part there. Just make sure you get any excess glue off of there. Just roll it like in a little snake. And then we're just going to wrap it around the very top. We're going to do the hands. We're just rolling them in a pea sized piece of clay and we're pushing the flat part down on the front and then on the side we're squeezing it in. Then we're just going to cut four little fingers in there. And to get these shaped out, you're just going to roll them between your fingers until they get to how you want them to look. Just play with this for a little bit. You can get it pretty easy. And then one of them is going to be the thumb. We're just going to push it over to the side. And once you get them how you want them, go ahead and bend them over because we are going to have her holding her broom. And then just put your wire in it and then squeeze the bottom on down. And then do the same thing for the other one. And then we're going to bake these in the oven with the shoes at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. And then when you get them out, just if, pull on that stick. If that stick comes out, just use some glue and glue it back in. Okay, 
and make sure your thumbs are on opposite sides. Next, we're just going to get some netting that's six inches wide and we're going to cut it at 18 inches and we're just going to twist them opposite ways to get it tightened up in there and we're just going to tie a bow around the top of her hat. And then just cut any excess off and then we're going to open the bows up a little bit just to kind of feather them out a little bit. Then we're going to glue it in and be careful on this part not to get any glue on the front part of it. Just kind of get pull it away from the hat and glue it on. Then we're just going to take a little pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby and attach it to the top. Okay, next we're going to take these little witch legs that I got at Dollar Tree and you can use any fabric you want. Just cut it at two inches long by two and a half inches wide and we're going to hem up the bottom part and then we're going to hem up one side part. And then we're going to fold them over in, in thirds till we get to the opposite side. And just glue the side down. Okay, next we're just going to attach them to our um, shoes. Just pull it up over the part that had the little snake part and go ahead and glue it down. So you want those to be flush with the top part of the shoe. Okay, next we're just going to take a ribbon and we're just going to tie it around the bottom part of the leg and tie it in a bow. Then we're going to glue the top part to the wire. And then we're going to go ahead and stick it right into the front of the styrofoam towards the bottom. And we're going to cover up the bottom here in a little bit with another piece of um, craft foam. Once you get them exactly where you want them, then we're going to go ahead and pull them back out and glue them in. Just put a little bit of glue up underneath there and push that back in there. Okay, next we're going to make the arms. We're going to take that same fabric. We're taking a two and a half by three inches and we're folding it over facing sides together and gluing them together. And just make sure your stripes are going up and down. Then we're going to go ahead and fold over the edge and we're going to glue up a hem for it. Probably about a quarter inch hem. And don't put too much. Just kind of spot glue it because this fabric is a little bit thin. You don't want to get any glue on the outside edge. And you can use any kind of fabric you want on this. I just had those and so that's what I used. Okay, then go ahead and turn them right side out. And then we're going to go ahead and put our hands in them. And then go ahead and take a ribbon and tie it around the bottom just like we did the leg. Just make sure that your seam is in the back. And make sure that you have a right and the left hand. Just want to put a little bit of glue in the back part of the hand. And then again, tie a ribbon around this one as well. And then just put a little bit of glue around underneath the front part of that ribbon to hold it on. Next, we're going to open up the side of her hair. You want to make sure that you get all the hair out of the way. And then we're just going to take a knife and cut into it. Now, make sure your knife is going up and down. If it's side to side, you will cut her hair. We're going to put the arm on in there, figure out exactly how long we want it. And then we're going to feel on the wire where we're going to pull our, pull our shirt um, arm down to. So I'm measuring it. I'm coming down one inch and I'm going to mark it with a marker. So I know exactly where to glue off the top part of my arm. Just make sure that they match. And then we're just going to turn it under and glue it to, it to that line.
You're just making her, her arm, I mean her hand, come over the edge of her um, shirt probably about a half an inch. Or her dress. And then go ahead and make sure you got your cut open in there. I lost my part, my spot, so I had to go back in here and recut it. And then go ahead and put some glue in there and glue that arm in there. Just make sure that your thumbs are facing forward. And do the same thing with the other side. Okay, now I'm taking this little broom I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to remove the bow off of it, and then I'm going to tie a bow on it. Now, I'm going to just cut this off a little bit short. You can cut it however long you want it, but I just want it a little bit shorter for her. So I'm cutting off about two inches off of this broom. And then go ahead and tie another ribbon around it because it looks a little bit better than the one that was on it. And if you don't want to put a broom on it, you can pull her legs, bend her legs down, and she can sit on a shelf as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach the little um, circle to the bottom just to kind of close all that in. And then I'm going to bend her arms back to where her hands can hold on to that broom. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to her hand and attach it to the broom. Then I'm just kind of taking two little paper brads and I'm just going to stick them right into the front of her dress. Just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And you can glue these in if you want to. Okay, I think these turned out adorable. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite today. Today, I'm going to share with you this adorable little wizard gnome. He's got a cute little hat, cute little shoes. I'm giving you the pattern in the description below. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. i show you how. Okay, for this one, you're going to need some fabric, some craft foam. You're going to need some uh, pipe cleaners, some oven baked clay, some trim for his robe, faux fur, some wire, some dowel sticks, some styrofoam cones, some foil, some weights, and a stick. And I'm also going to use a mold to mold his hands, and I'm using cause clay. This is a clay that you can use for his arms that will bend. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our hat. We're just going to start down at the bottom where that little cutout is, line it up, and go ahead and glue your bottom part in first. And then we're going to glue the top part in, and then we're going to go down the middle and glue the rest of it in. It just makes it a little bit easier if you do it this way. And then just lay it flat and kind of rub it out. And then we're going to put our trim. I'm using an eighth inch trim all the way around the bottom. And this is what's going to hold the brim of the hat on. Just kind of pull it as you're going around just so that it's completely smooth. Then go ahead and glue the back on and then just cut off the excess. And I've given you the SVG file and the PDF file for this. And then just pull your brim over the top of it all the way down so it sits on that ledge. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take, the, I'm taking the circle that I cut out of the middle and I'm just going to take a piece of floral wire and I'm going to put it up in my hat. I'm just going to cover it with this um, craft foam. You can cover it with whatever you want to. You just want to make sure that you cover up the ends because you don't want them poking through your hat. And this is what's going to make the top of his hat be able to bend. And you're going to do the same thing for the bottom of the hat too. Find out where your hat is and go ahead and cut it off and then do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on top of this piece. And then we're going to go ahead and stick it inside the hat all the way to the tip top. And then we're going to glue the bottom in on the side. Okay, and then just take your hat and just kind of bend it over and bend it up. Okay, next we're going to take some trim and we're just going to trim it out with this gold rope. And I got that at Hobby Lobby. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make his shoes. I'm taking a, two of the weights and I'm rolling them up side by side in the foil. Just use a small piece of foil. 
and do the same thing for both of them. Then I'm going to take some blue oven baked clay. I'm going to roll it out and then I'm just going to wrap it completely around those pieces. And we're just going to shape them into the shape of a shoe. And then just once you get that rolled up in there, just go ahead and roll it in your hand because you do want it smooth. And then go ahead and um, cover any areas that got the, have foil coming through. And then just go ahead and smash it and then just kind of shape it, kind of rounded in the front and on the sides, make it kind of flat. And then we're going to take our dowel stick and just stick it right inside of there as far as you can get it to go. And then we're going to add some oven bake adhesive in there to hold that stick in place. And we're going to do the same thing for the other shoe. And then we're going to bake them at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, now that they're finished, we're going to go ahead and add the tip. And it's a little bit easier if you do these in sections. We're just going to roll that out, roll a, roll a point onto the end because we're going to have pointy shoes. And then just push it against that other shoe and then just smooth it in. If you're, if you're using oven baked clay, do this in steps because you can then you won't mess up what you already did on the first part of the shoe because it's already baked and it's firm. And just go ahead and curl that shoe on up and then just make sure that all those sides are smooth. Now you does look like you have two different colors there, but once you bake in the oven, it will it'll be the same color as the rest of the blue. Just make sure you get it pretty smooth. And then we're going to come back in and put a little rope around the top part of the shoe just to kind of finish it out. And then we're going to bake it again at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and start the row. We're just going to take this triangle and I've given you the pattern for that. And we're going to fold the sides together, the facing sides together, and glue up the one side. After that dries, we're going to go ahead and hem it up a quarter of an inch all the way around. If you hold it in your hands like that, it makes it a little bit easier to do and you can kind of stretch it so that it doesn't, um, it's, it's smooth when you finish on the front part. And then go ahead and turn it right side out. And then we're going to cut an inch off the top. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put that same trim that we put on the hat around the bottom of his robe. This will really make his robe stand out once you put it on your, on your cone. It'll kind of stiffen it at the bottom and kind of make it flare out nicely. Just try to get as close to the edge as you can. Okay, next we're going to take his shoes and we're just going to take a little bit of Mod Podge and put it around the top. Now I'm doing this after I went ahead and baked these again. Just put it on the tip and then we're just going to put a little bit of gold glitter just on the tip. Just to kind of blend all the gold in throughout his whole outfit. And do the same thing for the other shoe. Okay, next I'm just going to take this little hand mold and I'm going to roll my little um, my clay up into little ropes and I'm just going to stick it between each of the fingers just to kind of start filling it in and then I'm going to go ahead and put clay all the way inside of it and just kind of build it up. Now I decided not to use pipe cleaners for my arms. I'm going to use this um, clay and it is bendable. I'm going to put it on a wire and once you get done baking it and you have to bake it at 275 degrees for 30 minutes, then it's like rubber on only on the part that's on the wire. And you can actually bend the arm into shape. And I'll give you the link for where I got this below. We just kind of fill it in real good. And then go ahead and take your arm out. And then I'm just going to take a, I'm going to roll this up into about a two and a quarter inch log. And then I'm going to run a wire through it and then connect the arm to the hand. And I'm just going to cut off this tip to make it straight. But that ends up being two and a quarter inches. So just run it right through your um, clay. And then just stick it out there far enough that you have enough to um, grab onto the hand. And just kind of roll that out to kind of smooth it out. And then attach your hand. 
and then go ahead and blend your hand and your arm together just kind of smooth it out there and then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other arm Okay, next we're going to build the legs. We're going to take a two inch by seven and a half inch piece of fabric and we're going to glue down the long side and glue facing sides together. Do that on both of them. And then I'm just going to take a safety pin, run it into one end, and I'm just going to drag that through to the other end to turn that right side out. And this method works really good for just about any fabric. And we're doing it for the same thing for the opposite side. Next, we're going to go ahead and just tuck under one end of it. And that's going to be the part that goes up against the shoes. You don't even have to glue this. Just go ahead and fold it inside there a little bit. And then just slide it over your dowel sticks on your shoes. And we're going to make these like little slouch pants. These dowel sticks are quarter inch by six inch. And I'm just going to cut about two inches off each end. And then I'm going to sharpen them with a pencil sharpener. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and attach it to our um, styrofoam cone. Just go ahead and kind of center them there, spread them out a little bit, and just push them on in. And once you get them exactly like you want them, go ahead and take the legs back out, and we're going to put a little hot glue inside. Okay, next we're going to make the beard, and we're going to make it two and a quarter inches wide by two and a half inches long. And just cut in a U shape all the way around there from that side down to the dot and back up the other side. Just cutting behind the faux fur only and then clean off any excess fur. And next we're going to make the sleeves. But see how that bends on that wire? When you use this clay, it just bends real nicely and you can kind of shape them how you want to. I'm going to go ahead and take our little triangle sleeves and we're just going to glue up one side, fold it over. And with facing sides together. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Then go ahead and hem them up. We're just going to hem them up maybe about an eighth of an inch. Just hold them in your hand. You just kind of go around with your fingers to, to hem them up. And then do the same thing with the other one. And then we're going to turn them right side out. And these pliers work real good for this. And then we're going to um, cut off just the very tip of them. And then we're going to add some of that gold trim to these as well. Just along all the way around the bottom of them. And do that for both of them. Okay, then just run your arm right up through there. And then go ahead and put the trim on the second one. Okay, then we're going to just glue the top of the sleeve to the wire. Put them aside and then we're going to go ahead and attach the beard. So go ahead and put your hat on. Figure out exactly where that beard will go up underneath that hat and not be seen. And then you're just going to glue it to it. I'm probably coming out down about an inch from the top of that piece of fabric. But be sure and put your hat on first because your bend where you curved it at the top might be a little bit different from mine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach the arms. Just kind of make sure that your thumbs are facing forwards. 
and then just go ahead and take an exacto and we're just going to put it right at the edge uh, just barely above that beard just push that wire all the way in there and then we're going to glue them in in here in a second Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take them back out, and we're just going to put some glue inside that hole and put them back in there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and attach the hat. Just kind of figure exactly where it is. You make sure that your um, seam is in the back, and then we're just going to put a little bit of glue around the sides. And then just push it back on. Just make sure you don't put it in the front because we still need to put the put the nose in there. Okay, next I'm just going to take a wooden bead and I'm just going to put it right in the center up next to the hat. And then I'm going to glue the edge of the hat to that bead. Okay, next I took I found this stick in my yard. It's just a little small like quarter inch stick. I'm just going to kind of bend his hand around there or bend his arm around there. Don't bend his hands because you don't have wire in them. They're not going to be bendable. But bend his wrist and then just go ahead and attach your um, stick to his hand. Here's our little wizard. I think he turned out really cute. I had fun making this one. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. And let me know if you're going to make any. I'd love to know. Today I am going to share with you this cute little which now got cute little hair, cute little hat. If you want to have a maker, stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, these are all the supplies that you're going to use for this, and I've listed them in the description below. I'm also going to use some six inch um, black tool, and I use some air dry clay for the hands. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and cut out our hat, and you're going to come over the edge where you have that little triangle piece, and you're going to meet that edge with the, with the inside edge of that triangle. And so you're going to go all the way up to the top and glue that in. Just try not to mash on it when you're gluing it because you don't want to seam down, you don't want to line down the sides of your hat. Okay, next I'm going to take a piece of quarter inch um, trim and I would recommend using an eighth inch instead of a quarter inch on this. You just need a lip to hold that hat brim on. So just going to go ahead and glue that all the way around and then cut off the excess. I don't have an exact measurement on this, but I think it was about 12 inches. And then you're just going to slide your brim right over the top of that, and that's what's going to hold that in. And you don't even have to glue this part. So we're going to make the shoes, and I'm just taking two 6-inch, quarter-inch um, dowel sticks. I'm going to cut them at 4 inches. And then I'm going to sharpen them. And I'm just using an oven-baked clay for this. I'm going to take my foil. I'm going to take two 5 16 inch nuts and put it inside that foil. And that's going to give us the weight for our shoes. And then on the, the shoes, I'm just taking a one inch ball and I just rolled it up and I'm just flattening it out. You can see that's a one inch ball. And then I'm just going to wrap it around that foil to hold that in. And if you put the foil inside, you end up using a lot less clay. So roll it up in a ball and then we're going to mash it and we're going to start shaping it kind of in an oval shape. And then once I get it completely shaped, I'm going to roll the front part of it so that it has a smooth finish on the front. And then just go ahead and take your dowel stick and push it into the back of it. Make a big indent in there and then take some oven baked adhesive and put it in there and put your stick back in. And then I'm going to bake these at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. To make the dress, just go ahead and cut your pattern out and we're going to add a bead of glue down one side. And then we're going to fold the other side over to that side and let that dry. Now I've given you the pattern for this in the description below. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and cuff it up a quarter of an inch. We're just going to make a hem on the bottom of it. And I am using a, a stretchy fabric. For this pattern that I'm giving you, you definitely need to use stretchy um, fabric. I don't think this will work with just a straight cotton fabric. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do the legs. And I'm taking a 2 inch by 7 and a half inch piece of fabric and I'm gluing down on the 7 and a half inch side. 
on both of these and then we're going to turn these right side out and that's why I was saying this is probably not going to work with a straight cotton fabric because you do need some uh, some stretchiness in this to make this um, be able to turn right side out and I'm just going to take a safety pin put it into the top edge of this and I'm going to run it through the center of it up out to the other side and that's where you can um, pull your casing through Now don't pull too hard, otherwise you will stretch your fabric and you don't want to stretch your fabric out of shape. Okay, do that same thing to the second one. And we're kind of giving her a little skinny legs. Okay, then we're just going to attach these to the legs. Just go ahead and put your stick on inside of these and we're just going to pull them down kind of slouchy like. Just gather them on down there. Next, we're going to go ahead and push our sticks on up into our styrofoam cone. Just put them in the center and space them apart. But we're not going to glue them in yet. We're just putting them, them, them in there for fit right now. Okay, now we're going to turn our dress right side out, and we are going to cut off two and a half, two inches off the top part of it, so it will slide over the top of our um, cone. And this is going to hang over the edge of the cone about a half an inch. So pull it on down there, and then we're going to go ahead and make the petticoat. So we're taking a six inch by twenty eight inch piece of tulle, and just going to go ahead and gather it up. So just take some needle and thread, and you're just going to gather it up. If you don't have needle and thread, you can take a small wire and run it through there as well. Okay, now that we've got that gathered up, we're going to go ahead and lift the dress back up. And you can just go ahead and take the dress off because we're going to take we're going to do that here in a little bit anyways. And just going to go ahead and put this around the waist and tie it off in the back. We want it to hang over the edge probably about an inch. Just take that one side of that thread and pull it through and then just tie it off in the back. And then go ahead and get your gathers kind of spread out evenly. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to add a ribbon over the top of it to glue it in. Just kind of pull it tight around there because you want that to stay on good. And then just clip that off in the back. I'm just taking a piece of craft foam to put over the bottom. So you can just cut a circle out and we're going to glue it in. And then we're going to um, cut a little hole where our legs were so we can find those here again in a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little piece of craft foam and I'm just going to trim out the top edge of the little shoe. I'm going to go ahead and pull my fabric back and that's when I'm going to glue my fabric to my stick. So figure out exactly how much you need and that's about a quarter inch. So pull your, your leg on up there, glue it in, and then we're just going to put that um, piece of craft foam right over the top of that fabric. And do that for both of them. And then I cut out these little bats that I'm putting on here, and I'm going to give you the SVG for those, or you can cut them out by hand, but just put two little bats over the top part where we put that trim. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put my legs on in there. Just pull them back, and, and mine ended up being about two and a half inches. So when you glue them in, you can make them however long you want to, but I did mine at two and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out, and I'm just going to put some glue inside there to put my stick back in. And I'm pushing them in about two and a half inches. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and take a ribbon and put it around the waist. 
and I'm putting it um, just a little bit um, below where the petticoat is. Okay, next I'm going to go make the hands, and I'm just taking an air dry clay and this little hand mold. Spread it open like that to push your clay in, but just get a lot of clay in there at first, and then you can start peeling it away at the top of it so you can get your shape. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling it away so you can see the hand, and then you can go ahead and take it out and let it dry. Just kind of spend some time on this, and you can get it, get it shaped up there pretty quick. And these dry pretty fast. Okay, then just go ahead and take it out, let it dry, and go ahead and do the same thing with the other one. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of wire into each one of these. And I'm, I'm doing that right after I make, take them out of the mold so it goes on there quick and easy. You don't want to wait till it's dry to put that in there. And then add a little bit of glue. You can use Elmer's glue or whatever, but you make sure that you glue it in. Okay, next we're going to make the hair and we're going to cut two pieces of faux fur at one inch by three and a quarter inches. And then clean off the excess with your fingers. Don't comb through this because I think it ruins this style of um, faux fur. And then I'm going to cut another little piece for the bangs. And I don't have an exact measurement on it, but you, just, you can measure between where you're going to put your two sides, and then you can put that one in the middle. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and glue them in on both sides. And just go up above um, your dress fabric on both of them. And then we're going to put our hat on to see where our little bangs go. I'm just kind of spreading them out on both sides, and then I'm going to put the bangs right through the center. And that's probably about a half inch in length piece. I, I don't know how wide it is because I didn't measure it. So just go ahead and put your hat on and then put that up there against the edge of that hat. And that's where you're going to glue that on. Okay, next we're going to decorate the hat. And I'm just taking the six inch tool and I'm measuring it at 12 inches in length. And I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to fold it over again so it's folded four times. And then go ahead and take your um, needle and thread and go ahead and gather it up. Just kind of making a rosette here. Okay, once you get it gathered up, we're going to go ahead and join the two sides together. And we're just going to stitch right through them all the way down. And then just go ahead and tie that off. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach it to the hat. And I'm just attaching the bottom part where we actually sewed up the two sides together. That's going to be on the bottom. Put a little bit onto the back part of the, the rosette. And then we're going to go ahead and attach a flower to the center. And you can decorate your hat however you want to. This is just what I came up with. And then I got a couple more of those bats that I cut out. And I'm just going to put them on the hat too. So just kind of fold them over. And just glue them on if you're going to use these bats. Okay, then I'm just adding a little one to the brim. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the arms. They measure one and a half inches by six inches, and I'm gluing up the six inch side. And just try to get a small bead of glue because you need to have the casing open so we can turn it right side out. We're going to do the same thing we did with the legs. We're going to take a, paper, a um, safety pin, hook it onto the end, and then drag it through. Okay, after you get it turned right side out, then we're going to go ahead and take a pipe cleaner, and we're going to fold it in half, and we're going to run it through. And then do the same thing for the other one. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and paint my hands. I went ahead and mixed some light gray and some white together just to kind of give it a real light gray finish on the hands and, and paint both sides of it on both of them. 
Okay, well next we're just going to turn the in the underside of the sleeve on the right by where the arm is going to go just to kind of give it a finished edge there. And then when you put your pipe cleaner in here, just put a little dab of glue on the pipe cleaner and the fabric because you want to make sure your pipe cleaner is glued in as well. And then go ahead and put your hand in there and glue it in, but do make sure that you put you glue your pipe cleaner to the edge of the fabric so it stays in. And then just do that on both of them. And then we're going to make a, like a puffy sleeve at the top part of the arm. You just want to make sure that that puffy sleeve, when you glue your arm on, that it's low enough that it does not um, interfere with your hat. So just kind of put it up against the body of your gnome and see exactly where you want your um, arms to go and make sure that that top part of that puffy sleeve is, in the, is not inside the hat, but the smooth end is. And then we're going to cut those off about an inch and we're just going to glue those to the styrofoam on both sides. And I'm probably gluing them, where I'm gluing them is right at the, the tip edge of where the, the hair is. Then I'm going to take a string and tie it around just to hold them in place. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the inside part of the hat and put the hat on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the nose right up underneath where the hair curves. And then I am going to glue the, the top edge of that hat to the brim part. And then I've got a, a Dollar Tree uh, little broom and I'm just going to cut off the end of it and cut off the top part of it so it's the right size. Just so kind of figure out exactly where you need it to be. And then I'm just going to glue that right in between her two little fingers. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. She turned out super cute. If you like these kind of videos, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have a new video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.